speaking of great blokes, <laughs> hundreds of Aussie blokes have been putting on the budgie this? smugglers in the past few weeks, yes. all competing Oof. for the great title of Australia's most ordinary rig. Just look at these guys. <laughs> that's <laughs> magnificent. It is. Look, at that's just the quintessential Australian body right there. No wonder oh, all those girls from overseas fly. come here to like marry an Aussie. Yeah. <laughs> well, joining us are three of the finalists, Nathan Byrne in Brizzy. That's him on the... Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> James Berenger uh, in Sydney. Jimmy, how's it going? Yep. And Tom Hunt in Canberra. Tommy, how you doing? Sweet as, mate. Looks like you're wrestling a flood there as well. <laughs> hey, Nathan, um, you have two kids officially rocking the dad bod. You're an amazing-looking fella. Thanks very much, Carl. Uh, it was a pretty exciting time when I had two kids. I finally had a reason to wear budgie smugglers. <laughs> Although my, my wife thinks that I've had a problem for a fair few years. I was just waiting for that moment to have children. Yeah. You're a hairy human. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, uh, if I was going to start waxing, I wouldn't know where to stop. So I just thought, <laughs> no, nah, I probably don't do well, it. Well, your beard Ooh. goes from your budgies all the way up to your face. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the great stop. beards. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to keep it in that particular shape? Yeah. What's your strategy? Uh, Oh, I've got a fair few sponsors. A lot of them are fast food restaurants and yeah. they, they really support me well. Um, I do a little bit of exercise. I like to think excess in both, both, uh, both parts of my life in eating and then trying to excessively exercise but not really working that hard. So <laughs> what, what, yeah, it keeps me in good shape, clearly. Are, you, are your kids proud? Oh, they're, uh, they're ecstatic. One of them can't talk. He's probably the proudest. <laughs> it's just because he, he can't voice his opinion. So, right. so you're yeah, just putting yeah. words into his mouth. Perfect. Which, while you can still do it, go for it. Yeah. James, That's exactly right. James, let's move on to you. How hard have you worked to get what no you hair. describe as an ordinary well, rig? No hair there. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've worked quite hard. I'm only 19 years old and... Oh, yeah. um, you know, going to work, hungover, you don't really stop to get an acai bowl from the old uh, <laughs> nice little smoothie shop. You more just pull into the server and get a big cup of meat pies. Yeah, well, that'd be so, unusual uh, yeah, for that's, someone that's from Bondi. Yeah. Yeah, well, there's a, there's a couple floating around. They're a bit hard to come by, but, yeah, on the way up to, you know, four clues, yeah. you just munch yeah. them on a pie to get to work. <laughs> Not a I don't want to point out any features, but the belly button you've got on you, you could hold the sushi in there, brother. <laughs> Yeah, good one, good one. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, James, what is it about the budgie smuggler in particular that you love? Why not the boardies or the curtains of shame, as the boys refer to them as? Yeah, I'm really just a big fan of the budgies because all the girls get right around me and they really, like, they really love my rig and that's pretty much it. All the young girls and 19-year-olds, that, that's all they want. They just want a big, voluptuous bloke. <laughs> not, really a, uh, not really a bloke with a six-pack, you know? So, so did you actually <laughs> nominate yourself or were there others who were encouraging <laughs> you to nominate for most um, ordinary rig? <laughs> well, my mates, Capel and Scalzi on the work site, they, they, more, uh, bullied, they bullied me into it, you know? Yeah. Um, I'd rather just be in one piece and two pieces of an ordinary rig. So, yeah, yeah that's yeah. why, that's well, why you're I'm here now, but... Yeah. You're just a magnificent-looking human being, I reckon. And Skulls, he, that Skulls, he's a funny fella, isn't he? He hasn't, paid for, a, <laughs> hasn't paid for a drink his whole life. Hey, um, and let's go to Tommy now in Canberra. Uh, obviously, it's very cold. <laughs> cold down there, big guy, for... Um, yeah, a little bit. For, uh, little for budgie bit. weather, yeah? Yeah, it's a balmy uh, negative 10 here down in the <laughs> nation's capital. Probably could, they could be called earthworm smugglers instead. Oh, 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 fitness regime requires oh, 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 Ducking off to Alibaba for a halal snack pack before oh, the day's end. Snack pack. What sort of work? What sort of work do you do, smuggler? What sort of work? Uh, oh, I am a landscaper, but uh, the company's just gone under. So if you know anyone looking for casual landscapers, I'd really appreciate if you give them my number as well. Oh, my house is good. Yeah, yeah, I hope you've done a bit of escaping on yourself, mate. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, so <laughs> Nathan, sure, yeah. oh, it's out. tidy. Have you got the Have you got the mower out in the chest? Is that what you've done? <laughs> I don't think they... <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, just quickly before we have to sadly let you all go, what's the next stage? How do they decide who has officially Australia's most ordinary rig? 
Com. And uh, first of all, buy you set a pair of these beautiful bad boys. And yeah. then uh, follow Budgie <laughs> Smuggler on Instagram and Facebook. Vote for me. Maybe throw a vote for a couple of other guys there. Yeah. Um, on the 15th of October, there's tickets available. The Ivy Pool, it's the final of the Budgie Smuggler Ordinary Rig 2016. Mm. Get there, it'll be a great day. I'm looking forward to really showing off this bad boy at the Ivy. Yeah. Never been there before, and I can't think of a better way to be at the Ivy. So, uh, oh. yeah, rock Mario on Milano and no curtains of shame. Nice. Yeah. Oh, Mario right. Milano up? and Ronnie Miller used to wrestle in those decks. Mm. Yeah, well, not those ones. They didn't look this good, though, Timmy. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. You're right about that. Well, boys, it's great to have you on the show. Oh. Good on you for having a great sense of humour, although you are taking it very seriously, and that's good to know that this you're committing. And good luck that's in the competition. Great. We'll make sure we uh, we get whoever the winner is um, in the competition when it happens. <laughs> There's a three shot right there. <laughs> sure Chris, is, folks, it? welcome to Australia from overseas. <laughs> <laughs> They're three kings. Thank you, boys. Oh, oh big Timmy. Wait, a late entry. Oh, here we go. <laughs> no, I'm up. Timmy, Timmy Gilbert. Gilbert. Get it off, son. Are you going to share your Do it. Oh, <laughs> do it. Can we get some music? Come oh. on, son. Yes. Play, play the magnificent. There we go. Magnificent Seven. This is Be Timmy proud, Gilbert. Timmy Gilbert. That's it, right. buddy. That is a body right there. Timmy Gilbert, you bloody legend. Hey. Oh. <laughs> is this really happening? Dad, dad body. Just stay there. Timmy. Right there. You are the magnificent. The audio department hasn't been able to find music. That's a transfix. <laughs> wow. Oh, he's too sexy for a shirt. Oh, oh. Josie, his wife, we know why you married him. Wow. It. Gee. That takes real courage, by the way. I just don't know real how courage. we followed that up. Dickie, uh, you? Mate, I'm fine right where I am. Thank you very much. Get your shirt off, bro. You look magnificent, too. Thanks, Carlos. Yeah, today's shirt. Curtains of shame. That's very it. good. No, stay right. right where I am. Thank you very much. Moving right along. Okay.